<laughs> you think I'll let you zone. Baka. Hey guys, have another game review for the new year, but this time let's check out a remake of an old classic. Pac-Man World Repack is the 43rd anniversary remake of the classic 20th anniversary Pac-Man World. Repack was developed by Now Production, who have been in the gaming business since the 1980s with the NES on original IPs and ports of games for the Sega Genesis all the way to the PS2 and beyond. But they also make mobile games and pachinko machines as well. So let's see if the pack is back and better than ever in a remake of a classic PlayStation platformer, shall we? The story isn't something to write home about, but on Pac-Man's 20th anniversary, his friends Chomp Chomp, Puka, Professor Pac-Man, Pac-Mom, yes, I know in the original it was Miss Pac-Man, but there was this whole lawsuit of Bandai Namco versus At Games lawsuit for royalties, and Namco replacing her with three different characters before stopping at Pac-Mom, Pac-Boy, a replacement for the same deal as Miss Pac-Man, and Pac-Sis. Again, the same deal as last two. We're getting presents for the party when Talkman had his ghost goons kidnap them because he and the ghost were jealous that everyone only ever cared about was Pac-Man, so they steal Pac's family and hide them around Ghost Island. Pac-Man is walking home for his party and sees it has been ransacked with him in defeat, but he sees a flyer about a party to meet the real Pac-Man at Ghost Island, so Pac heads there to find some answers. A ghost at the island sees Pac-Man coming and warns Talkman that the real Pac-Man is coming. Talkman is furious because the dumbass ghost captured everyone but Pac-Man, so he ordered everyone to end the yellow talking lemon once and for all. Pac-Man runs around the island freeing his friends and family while defeating bosses one after another to finally reach the man himself, Talkman, and battle out to see who is the true yellow dude with some kind of dude. After three rounds with that asshole, Pac-Man finishes him off with a power pellet chomp. The day is saved, but Talkman in his true form is still bitter that no one will cheer for the ghosts. Pac-Man tries to squash the beef with an understanding that if the world doesn't appreciate the ghosts, then he sorta of will in his own way. With the day saved, Pac-Man goes back home to celebrate his 20th birthday. Pac-Man World was like any other platformer that came out in the mid to late 90s where it was a grab bag on whether it was going to be good like Super Mario 64, good and frustratingly hard like Crash Bandicoot, or downright horrible like Bubsy the Bobcat 3D. Pac-Man World originally fell in between Mario 64 and Crash because of the constant backtracking to unlock doors or going back into previous levels to save a family member because the key was in a future level than the previous one. Luckily, Repack fixes most of these issues, but let's start by movement. Pac-Man is pretty mobile for a half-eaten lemon. He can run and jump to get to higher places. He can latch onto ledges as a last minute save before falling into a pit if you're close enough. He can double jump via the butt bounce move when pressing the jump button twice to make him clap his cheeks on the floor for greater height. He can also kill those enemies with this move. Just one clap to the head and they're going down. But watch out for the ones that have armor or a spike. That's what the pellet throw is for. As you adventure through the levels, you can collect pellets to add to your score, but you can also use them as a weapon to kill enemies. Charge it up to 5 pellets to cause an explosion. Then you got the rev roll that acts like a spin dash from Sonic, only it takes a bit to charge up. You mostly use this move to solve puzzles, but you can attack with it even though it isn't the best move in the game for such action. Pac also has a flutter jump, but it's very situational to the average player, so you kind of forget he has it. The name of the game in each of these levels is to collect most of everything in the level to progress, as Pac can collect the letters that spell out Pac-Man you need to find the fruit that unlocks the door for that letter or an item to that letter or key. For as many quality of life changes they did to repack, it still suffers what the original one had. Major backtracking issues where if there is a locked off area or switch you need to get to or collect, but there isn't anything around to interact with, then go further into the level and you will usually find what you needed 5 minutes before, but now you gotta go all the way back, collect the item or complete the puzzle, then continue on. To progress through the story, you need to free every family member in an area. In the original, it was a little confusing as the key you needed when you found a member wasn't in the level. Sometimes it was in a future level, meaning you had to go complete that level, then go back to the previous level with the cage, go through the level, then free the member, and then complete the level. Now, all you have to do is follow the levels in order to collect the key, then in the next level, is the family member. They also have two types of bonus stages. The mazes, which unlock when the door they are hiding behind is opened, and a special maze level to complete for bonus points and completion is there. Then we have the Pac-Man stage bonus by collecting all the letters in the stage. It's just for more points and lives as you complete one, so you don't have to worry that much. 
Oh, and after you complete the stage, you get to gamble for more points with a slot machine and however many coins you've collected in the level. The points are just for extra lives, so don't worry about getting a game over. I had like 80 lives by the end of the game. They completely redid the power pellet gimmick. In the original, the ghost would just turn blue when Pac-Man ate one. In the remake, he turns into a giant head that destroys most things in his way that he wants to eat. And platforms appear in those areas, so you don't have to worry about accidentally falling off the map. Pac-Man World Repack is a great remake that fixes most of the original shortcomings but still can't fix the major one which is backtracking for most of the adventure. I played the OG as a kid and could never beat it as I always was stuck in the first area because I didn't know you had to collect most of everything in an area to face the boss and continue so I would just start a new save file until I got bored so I didn't know if I was just stupid as a kid that I couldn't connect the dots that I needed to collect more things to progress or Namco just made things more cryptic and grindy that that you needed to backtrack to beat the game which added a few more hours to a three to four hour game in the remake it's more straightforward and there is an easy mode with no life counters and more platforms if you keep dying i give pac-man world repack an 8.5 out of 10 for as much as they got right the second time around it couldn't save it from one of the major annoyances in the game pick it up with a few hours to spare it's pretty fun if you want to play it on pc then you can get it from cd keys for about nine dollars at the time of this review or if you only have a console you can get it for 20 bucks on all major platforms. With that, this review is done, but it was a blast from the past for me when all I did was rent video games over the weekend and ate pizza as a kid. Another review in the bag, stay safe guys, and I'll see you in the next video.